Welcome Gibbscam users. Today we have something new for uh, uh, Gibbscam version 2025. This has to deal with uh, MTM. So if you're one of those customers that have MTM machines, whether it's like sub spindle, uh, main spindle, one turret, two turrets, three turrets or more, or Swiss, uh, you really like this new feature that we've added in the version 2025. So this has to do with modes for the op tile list. So that we have a show all flows, show each flow and sync flow mode. So let's kind of show you how that works. So if you're a, a Gibbscam MTM user and you're used to seeing this type of flow, so Gibbs always puts a space anytime you, uh, if you want to separate the flows for like uh, flow number one, flow number two, you can just always right click and do sort ops. And what Gibbs will do is it'll put a space in between the flows, in this case, flow one here, flow two, and uh, this one's just a two flow machine. So in this case, you're going to see the two flows here. Like I mentioned, uh, it'll separate it with a single empty tile so you can see the flows. Well, what's new in 2025 is the ability to put these side by side, which is really nice. Uh, so you have these three menus here. This one here, which we're on just a single flow. This one here, if it brings up the note here, show each flow. So we click on that. Now you're going to see the flows side by side. There's flow one, flow two. And uh, of course, if there was more than uh, two flows, if you had a three turret machine or more, you would see the other one side by side here. And then the last one is, you can go, let's put up the note here, sync flow mode. So what that does is it lines up the sync modes in flow one, flow two, flow three, whatever you have here. So you can see the sinks are lined up here. Sinks are lined up here. And I believe that's it on this part. Oh, there's, there's the last part of the sync right down here. So it lines up all the sync modes. This does not take the place of the sync control manager here. You still need to do that. But that shows you the flows side by side. So it's really helpful in visualizing what's going on with your part. Also, something else that's uh, really nice is on your sync control manager right here. Of course, we've always had the ability to make all the uh, sinks and the tiles uniform, which is really nice. I kind of like that mode there. But you can see the sinks here as well. Or you can uncheck that, unselect that. And now something new in here is the flow. So you'll see um, a line flowing down through here as you render your part. So if we go to Machine Sim, and of course you can expand this or make it smaller as well. So when we click play here, you're going to see where that uh, where we actually are in the machining process on this sync control manager. So you can see we're right here, flow number one, tool number one over here, and tool 14 over here on the sub spindle. And as of course we keep playing, you're gonna see it scroll down through there. And of course, you can follow along here. This will help you controlling your sinks. Maybe you need to add another sink in there. Change some things around, but you'll get the idea here on the sink. So this is very handy. I really like this feature as well. And while we're on the subject of uh, MTM, we've also added another item to this. Let's zoom this up just a little bit. And it's called Rotary Show Rotary Hints. What this is going, going to do is show us the direction of the spindle, whether it's a turning spindle or a milling spindle. So if we click on Rotary Hints on, you're going to see immediately the direction that spindle is going. So if you made a mistake and have it going backwards, you're going to see the arrow going backwards on that. So even if we went in here and changed this, so let's just click play here a little bit. So if we change this tool, you can see the inserts facing up. Normally I like the insert facing to the back side so it throws the chips to the back of the machine. 
back of the machine instead of towards the operator on the front. But let's say I take the same tool here and we say insert is not face up but it's insert face backwards. And we start to play again. You can see Gibbs automatically reverses the spindle. It knows uh, which direction it needs to go and you'll see the arrow correspond with that. Of course it's up to the operator uh, to make sure he has the correct tool in the spindle of course. But this is an easy visualization on um, what direction or what side the tool needs to face. So this is a really nice enhancement. It also works for milling. Let's get to the milling part and we'll show you that as well. So here you can see we have our milling spindle on. You can see the direction it's going there, which is very helpful. I've seen cases where customers will tell me that the, it keeps breaking their end mill every time they go to cut the part and come to find out they're going the wrong direction with the end mill. They're going backwards instead of uh, clockwise on their end mill. So no wonder it's uh, breaking. But you can see here the visual, the direction it needs to go. So this is a very nice enhancement on uh, version 2025 MTM or just not even MTM, just uh, turn milling with live tools, just turning will show you the same results. So the next little enhancement we'll show you today is this box right here. Let me just hover over it. Collision checking. Normally collision checking was uh, by default off and you had to turn it on, but now by default it's on all the time. So if you just right click up in this blue area, go down to settings, you will see you have a couple of choices there uh, that's going to show you when you collide with something, either a stock flash, log display, stop animator, uh, etc. You can uh, and you can do some uh, gauge tolerance as well on there. But uh, if we run this, you're going to see this end mill run into the jaws. This is an intermediate tooling, but you're going to see it run into the jaws. Here we'll just speed this up a little bit. There we go. All right, so now you see, you can tell that it's a uh, run into the jaws there. As you can see, this is kind of going to a uh, wireframe display, but uh, you also can see that uh, it has the clashes there. Let me just expand this a little bit. And over to here, clash, and it tells you the operation number, operation number eight, which is right here. This is tool 13. This is a large end mill we're using, or fly cutter. Um, and it's going around shell mill cutter and it's going around and it's hitting the jaws of course as you can see on there. And of course you can turn collision checking off but uh, by default it's turned on. So if we do uncheck this and click on play you can see it's running into the jaws, but it's not giving us any feedback other than uh, you can just visually see it's running, running into the jaws. So this is kind of nice to have this turned on by default collision checking. And then, of course, play. You'll see it's going to bring up this. So uh, that's another, another nice enhancement. Uh, well, just any machining as well, not just MTM, but any kind of milling and turning. You will see collision checking turned on, and this is the result you'll get if you see clashes on there with uh, immediate tooling and fixtures. New enhancements for 2025 and uh, we'll just let this run through. You can see all the nice improvements there. And if you have machine sim and you provide Gibbs with the machine model, they can assemble that together uh, with all your fixtures and uh, spindles, etc. what you need on there and then you can run simulation here and and add fixtures if, as you need to and different tools as you need to. We'll just let that play through. Just speed it up here. Of course this one's going to clash. One thing you can do as well while I'm here is if you right click on this machine sim rendering and go to settings you can see uh, I have this checked circular thread. So what this does, this will improve the speed at which your rendering goes through because normally 
Uh, if you don't have this checked, uh, Gibbs is going to show you helical threads cutting as it's uh, threading on here, whether it's the main or spindle or whatever. So that takes a lot of uh, video resources to show you that. But by clicking on circular threads, it'll, you'll still see the threads, but they won't be helical. It's just a lot faster to render doing it that way. So I suggest you turn on circular threads. And this normally has to be on custom to bring this up, otherwise it's grayed out. But... Uh, Just another thing to improve machining. And so thank you for watching this video.